let's quickly explore why quotative division might be a better way to think about remainders. If I'm using the partitive understanding of division, I'm saying I want to divide 22 into five groups. How many are in each group? All right, if I'm understanding division that way, I'm going to probably deal it out. One, two, three, four, five groups. Keep it going. Keep dealing them out into five different groups. Okay, each group has two so far. I'm going to keep dealing. When we know the number of groups, this dealing method works really well for division because I want to try to figure out if there are five groups, how many are in each group. And I'm just going to, I could stop here, but a lot of times kids will just keep dealing. Okay, we dealt out all 22. How many are in each group? Well, these two groups have five. These three groups have four. I, I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know. If I had stopped, I could have said there are four in each group with a remainder of two. But students are going to most likely want to keep dealing. And that remainder gets lost into differently sized groups. In contrast, let's think about quotative division. With this type of division, we know that we want groups of five. So there's one group of five. Oops, whoa. There's one group of five. And all right, there's another group of five. I just keep taking out five. This is why repeated subtraction oops, works really well for quotative division because I'm taking my 22 and I'm subtracting out groups of five. There's another group of five. Oh, okay, well, I have four groups of five. I have two left over. It's more intuitive for me to stop right now because I I realize I can't make another group of five. I have two left over. My remainder is very clear, whereas up here, my remainder potentially got kind of lost in the shuffle. So when you're thinking about remainders for the first time, you might want to look for word problems and situations, not where you know the number of groups, but where you know the size of the groups. Students can use this taking out group strategy, this repeated subtraction strategy, for quotative division.